Yo, 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 what up, everybody? It's your boy, Bo, back here. All right. Choosing uh, the facts about boxing. Shout out to the YTBC, LDBC, 78 Sport Blood Boxing, Guard Your Grill Boxing, Hands on Fire Podcast, The Relay, uh, Chatterbox, uh, uh, Chatterbox Boxing Talk, Main Event. Um, there's everybody out there. Oh, shout out to my boy, uh, Thomas Santos, and, and special out to Boxing Burning out there, and uh, Pound for Pound Boxing. All right, there's going to be a lot of things going on this week. Everybody's going to be talking about what we saw over the weekend. So, again, this is your boy, Bo, with Truth and Facts About Boxing with another quick little fight snippet. All right, just got to watching the fights last night. Uh, wrote an article about it, uh, hoping, uh, you know, once that get hit, hit up and published, I'm going to hit y'all up with that. But what we saw last night was, was the reason why boxing is not dead. Boxing is a global iconic sport, and last night showed us why boxing is not dead. We had three guys from across the globe, from the Ukraine, show us why boxing is not dead, okay? Uh, three exciting, fan-pleasing fights. Three, you know, very technically uh, technically sound, gifted fighters and, and, and good, all-action-packed fights, okay? So boxing is not dead. Anybody that says boxing is not is dead, you know, it's, 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 no, it's not. <laughs> what we see, what's going on right now with boxing is, when you take the what's going on over in the UK, when you take what we saw last night with the, with the Lomachenko, Usyk, and uh, um, Gavorzik last night, and then women's fighting that we seeing going on, boxing is changing everything from a demographic and cultural landscape. So, boxing's not dead. But I, I also want to point out something out. Listen, nobody's going to beat Lomachenko at 130 pounds. Okay, and after the performance he gave last night, I really don't even see... Uh, none of the other champions probably even get in the ring with them unless you're going to really have to pay them, pay them. You know, like you're going to have to shell out some money and really pay these cats if you want them to get in the ring with you. Okay. Floyd has already indicated how he's not, you know, he's not going to be pushing Tank Davis too hard and too far. So uh, I don't see anybody because I heard Lomachenko say last night he's going to call reach out to the other champions. The only way you're going to get them in the ring is you're going to have to be willing to pay them. You know what I'm saying? Like offering them 150 or 200K, that's not going to get it. You know what I'm saying? You have to really pay them to get them in the ring. And that's, I mean, you know, if you want them to take that risk, you'll have to pay them for that. Uh, and and that's just that's that's just the truth of reality. You know, a performance like that, nobody's going to get in the ring because nobody's going to want to watch their guy get embarrassed like that. And then how do you promote him after he gets embarrassed something like that? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, and that's my thought on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my opinion. I could be wrong. But also, uh, yeah, nobody beats Lomachenko at 130 pounds. But I am excited about what's going on with Lomachenko and, and Garcia. Now, if y'all, some of y'all don't know, uh, Mikey Garcia uh, put a tweet out last night with uh, uh, my favorite movie, Tombstone, with uh, my man uh, Val Kimmer, the part where he played Doc, Doc Holliday, talking about something, say when. You know, say when. He put a hand on the gun, say when. You know what I'm saying? And that was so, that was smooth. But he put it out there. And Lomachenko responded. He said, you know, hey, man, I'll fight you tomorrow. In fact, I'll fly out to California, wherever it was, you know. So, of course, I, I think, you know, that Lomachenko is just, you know, he's just, you know, responding. He don't mean he'll actually really go out there and fight him tomorrow. But he, that's just his way of letting him know, listen, I'm not scared. I'll fight you anytime. And that's what boxing needs, you know. Lomachenko is hot right now, and I said it before. Mikey Garcia is going after him. It's a it's a lot of bit of jealousy behind Mikey Garcia going after him also. But Mikey, he's hot right now, uh, and... You know, he's getting all the pub. He's getting all the pull. Mikey wants some of that. No different than Tevin Farmer. When he called out Mikey, he wants some of that. So it's good for boxing. I, re- I really think it's good for boxing. I really do. It's good for boxing. We need to make that fight happen. You know, definitely need to make that fight happen. If if Mikey Garcia can't get Jorge Linares, uh, he, you know, he should look for Lomachenko. Though my only question and concern is if that will really happen, if you consider the fact that a Mikey Garcia – uh, and his issues with um, top rank, if that really will happen. That, that's my. That's the only thing that kind of concerns me, is I wonder if that will happen, if you take in consideration the fact that Mikey Garcia left top rank, because, you know, Bob Arams can be, you know, Bob could, you know what I'm saying, he could not want to, want to help you make a dime, and I said that before, but I like it. I really do, I like it. You got two guys who's willing to fight, they're at the top of their game, they came off big victories, big amazing victories, and, you know, and big time performances, so Hey, you know what? Let's make it happen. But boxing is not dead. Boxing is 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 alive. And man, you know, hey, shout out to everybody out there that's on the grind covering it. Like I said, all over social media, Twitter was going wild, Instagram was going wild. Man, shout out to everybody out there that's covering the sport on the ground. 
and all that. So, all right, everybody, it's your boy Bo from Truth and Fact. I got to go. Uh, man, I'm giving me some sleep. Oof. But I got to go. But I will holler at you guys tomorrow. All right, holla.